Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my uh, my daily vlog, my adventure for today. We have some things out here. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I thought this house was for sale. I'm not 100% certain it was for sale. Ah, what do we have? What are we working with? Yeah, this is, that's the metal. So that stuff is. But welcome back, it's that day again. If you know, you know. It's also insanely cold out. I don't know how it got so cold. Even my, my hands are like frozen. What are these things? This cassette should be only loaded with $20 bills. Is there money in here? Is this like a like a lockbox for like an ATM machine? Would not know what that looks like, so probably is. Which made no sense since I don't know what it looks like. That would make that doesn't make sense. Take this. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, maybe this was a. Uh... Wait, uh... I don't know what that is. I don't need that PVC pipe. It's not long enough for really anything. So I'm not gonna take that. And there was nothing in that ottoman. Yeah, I knew it was ATM. That makes sense. Oh, that is. Amazing how you know what it is, but you really didn't know what it was. I've never opened an ATM. I've never, never even got into that stuff. I know that's its whole thing on YouTube. But welcome back everyone. I'm freezing cold. It's 17 degrees out. Hopefully it's gonna warm up today, but we'll see what happens. Come along with me as we do some trash picking in the morning and see what other kind of fun things can happen today. Taco Stacks, welcome, it's Monday. And it's not warm. Okay, maybe I should go to the car wash. Maybe that should be on the plan of attack for today, but I think it's supposed to rain on Wednesday. Like, this is awful. This is just from salt buildup. Can't see out the rear view uh, camera. There you go, I got that a little bit cleaned off. Um, I wanted to pop these things open to see how, uh, oh, they're locked. Do uh, you think there's money in there? Rejecting, rejecting. I doubt there's money in there, but how the heck are we gonna do this? We should probably see if there's money in there. Take this, I can probably even put on that one table I have, but let's just smash it over here in the driveway. Also, all of this, it's mud. It's starting to thaw out. Look how great this looks. All the snow's melting, thankfully. Um, I would say in about three days, all this should be gone. That's my guess. Um, but it's finally melting. It's just amazing how times have changed. But let's get a, I guess, uh, maybe like a hatchet. Obviously, I don't have that key that goes in there. All right, let's find where the heck is my hatchet. Oh, buddy. I have a hammer over there. There's the hatchet. All covered in mud. That'll do. Now, do I think there's really, do I think there's really money in here? Do I think there's really money in here? Absolutely not, but we might as well see, right? I wouldn't imagine it'd be so easy to open this up, but maybe it will be. No money. I guess the bills would probably be stacked in there and this thing kind of pushes down and up on it. Yeah, no money, let's see the other one. Now I didn't really expect there to be money. 
I had no intentions of like hiding money in here, making a really cool viral video. Um, that was just not in my plans. So um, we're probably just not finding money, but it's kind of cool and something different. You know, you don't really find these things in the trash. In fact, I've never found them in over 850 episodes. Nothing in that bad boy either. Empty. Well, shocking, but not shocking. Being kind of honest, I didn't think they'd really open up that easily. Granted, I don't think they're supposed to be that secure. It's really the ATM machine that's supposed to be secure. But, yeah, no, not, nothing in there. All right, well, I guess now that we got that over, if you can go out for our afternoon shift, it's probably been about five hours since the first clip of this video. Um, I did have a bunch of people also leave comments about this, and this is most likely from what people called was a trolley, um, which I thought was kind of interesting. I call them shopping carts, but other people call them trolleys. I don't think... No, can't bend that out from the inside. Uh, might be able to just pop that out really easily, but... I don't know. It's got a dent there. Um, I did have also a handful of people comment and say that you guys and girls should start a Patreon or a GoFundMe for me. Uh, please do not do that. I am probably not going to get this fixed uh, because it's not going to really hurt the value of the vehicle when I trade it in. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but I can probably get this out with a suction cup. It's a... Uh, it's not there's no paint loss in there so please do not donate any money for this i i just i'm begging you I, I don't i don't even know if i'll fix that realistically and then on top of that i don't think it really costs that much money to replace or at least pop out and maybe i'll make a video on that i know other people also mentioned that some other youtuber raised a bunch of money to get like an add-on onto their vehicle and i should do that for a ramp and do all this stuff Trust me, I would never ask you guys to donate any money to me. I'm not about that. That's not what my channel's about. I just like making these videos. And realistically, I've been very consistent with doing that, so I'm very happy I've been able to do that. Uh, but in terms of asking you guys to donate, don't do that. Just watch the video. Hit the like button, subscribe. That's really all I ask. Now we got the dent out of the way. Um, also, a lot of people comment about that ramp and said that uh, the ramp is supposed to bend and unfold the way it did. Once I started realizing all the people who mentioned that, it kind of made a lot more sense. That's how you were able to kind of fold it into that stack rather than just folding it into two. Um, so thanks for that. I appreciate that. Uh, as for this, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. We'll find something. Sometimes it's nice to stop and pet the horses. A little muddy there, bud. Oh, see you later. The guy who dropped off that, um, what was it, the other week, burn barrel, which I had a handful of people say that the burn barrel, <laughs> that they, they've never seen someone use a burn barrel for a trash can. So, they had a burn barrel out, and it wasn't a trash can, but I thought maybe someone out there might have thought it might have been a trash can, so I mentioned it. It's not warm. I mean, it's warming up. It feels somewhat nice out. It's 34 degrees, so that's a little bit better than it was this morning. But um, it really seems like the uh, the days where it's 50 degrees or 45 or, you know, I think Wednesday it's supposed to be 60. That's not supposed to happen until like 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, which by then the day is shot. A friend in uh, Virginia went golfing today. And I was like, golfing? It's 17 degrees out. He's like, what do you mean 17 degrees out? It's 45 right now. It's going to get up to 60 by the, by noon. And my friend Brett, who's in Florida, he woke up and he said it was 61 degrees when he left his uh, his house this morning, his apartment. So it's a tale of uh, different temperatures across the United States. 61 does sound really nice right now. Waking up, 61 degrees. Wow, that's sounds like a perfect morning. Oh, look what's open. Not going over there, though. I'm going over here to get lunch. 
then um, I'm here. I don't know why this thing keeps doing this. So on my speedometer thing, that guy right there, it always like pops up some weird, uh, oh, what, maybe I can figure it out. Nope, not that one, maybe this one. Nope, not that one, this one. So that thing just pop, yeah. And then to clear that, I gotta click this. And now it's gone. Well, yep, that's a, uh, I don't know, just a random thing. But yeah, uh, Rita's is open. I guess spring is not really officially here, but if you want to get an icy, it's cold enough for it. All right, well, I made it home, and I started cleaning some of these toys from that uh, huge toy clean-out hoarder house video I did, like, all last summer. Um, spring last summer, I guess it was summer. Um, I'm finally getting around to the last bin. This one, I just noticed that the wheel is completely broken off. I have the spare wheel here, but it looks like that one just, it's, it's done for. And then I started working on these sneakers, which is kind of weird to have it like here, but I'll just wash this, I guess. Um, they're coming out pretty good. These are those foam posits uh, from that one storage unit that I spent 30 bucks for. That facility had another auction. That was the one that I was spending. I bid 160 bucks, and whoever won that one unit spent like 170. Um, but they had their auction. I think it was last week. Yeah, it was like last Monday or Tuesday. Uh, but yeah, it was the same facility. I bought the one with the sneakers for 30 bucks. Also had that hockey jersey, which I have no idea where that was. I was about to do some eBay stuff today. In fact, I was doing eBay stuff earlier. And I can't find that hockey jersey, so I don't know what I do with it. I'm pretty sure I washed it, but I must have put on a pile somewhere in my house for listing. Salsa does not look too happy. Oh, game is sniffing. That's salsa, right? So I'm headed up to the barn to uh, take apart some more stuff because I have to get garbage out for tomorrow. It's almost going to be like deja vu with this thing. Okay, the unfortunate part about this is... I don't know when this will melt. It's just solid ice. Should probably throw some salt on it, but I don't know how many times I plan on being up here in the next couple days. So when I get that day where it's 60 degrees, it might just melt away. I would say it's a pretty rough winter. Um, all right. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but right there is a table. And my plan of attack was either take the table, the tabletop, or take that mattress thing. But I think because it's a little bit nicer out this time, I'm going to try to take apart that thing just like we did the other time. It's a, I think it's a box spring. And it's, a, it's a big one. Just put it that way. This is where I kind of run into a thing because this isn't really plastic that's wrapped in, but it's wrapped. In fact, someone might even think it's more like a bed sheet rather than actually wrapping. So I'm gonna have to take this all apart because I don't think they'll take it with this cover on it, even though it is a cover and I guess it classifies as plastic. I feel like I did the exact same thing on a previous trash baking video. Trust me, it's not a rerun. This is literally another box spring. Uh, these are pretty easy to get apart. I think last time I didn't have a box cutter. But there's really nothing really to them. I learned whatever I did last time was much quicker. And I, I, I think maybe it's this fabric. It's so much harder to cut it with a razor blade. I don't know. Maybe they use a scissor. That made me use scissors. And the scissors were easier than a razor blade. I can't remember what I did. But uh, my new trick is I just kind of straddle this. And I used a hammer. I'm going against this edge. So it'll be nailed over there on the left side. And I just keep hammering around here on my thumb all the way down. It's actually a lot easier than trying to do each individual... Uh, staple with the uh, the hammer in fact there's only about like three strikes i went from like here all the way there so if you're watching this and you want to know how to take apart a bed spring or a 
box spring or I don't even know what this would be. There's no springs here. Um, that seems to be like the easiest way to get this fabric off. I feel like cutting would be easier, but just doesn't cut the razor blade. Also sort of interesting, got some live edge here. So I got some live edge wood. Must have been on the edge of the, uh, the log that they cut. Kind of weird, because you always think like, you know, that piece would be more like this. Perfectly square, whatever that is, a one by three. Success. That's all completed. It's not a garbage company. I'll take that. This I can probably throw in a garbage bag, so I'll take that. And then what we have over here, a nice piece of cardboard. Uh, it'd be a great piece of cardboard to use if you're working on a tractor, work underneath a car. Um, no, I got to recycle that. I can't. I got to thin the hoard, not add to the hoard. So, yes, this has got to go into the recycling bin. Fold it up nicely, but... Ah, it sucks. I want to keep it, but I already have enough cardboard I use. Actually, I've been recycling. I've been reusing the same one for the last two years. And it's kind of all oily, so maybe not. Nah, this is getting thrown away. I can't do that. Can't be hoarding cardboard now. That's we're going to end up with some serious issues. All right. Well, time to take out this this guy right here. Uh, this ammo box I did. I just found. Um, I did sell one. I found a large ammo box probably about five months ago in the trash. I uh, brought it down to Columbus. That also sold. Uh, so I'm just going based off what I kind of remember. Uh, it was newer, but I found it in the trash. I was like, I'm not going to scrap it, this, that, the whole nine yards. But anyway, it sold. Uh, and the guy asked me if I had any more. Um, I don't know if he collected ones that were a little bit different. This one, you find these, they're, they're pretty common. Um, this size, at least. Um, so yeah, that'll go on to the flea market pile. Another thing to add, I guess. And uh, it's been fun. Thanks for tagging along for another adventure, another day. Hopefully everyone has a great start to the, to the week. And it uh, should be a fun week. We'll see what happens and see what kind of uh, things we can get into. And hopefully everyone has a great start. So thanks for tagging along. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe down below. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.